YouTube, this is Kenny the Messy Soaper coming today with another soap, of course. I've already um, added my light water in here just to kind of, well, you guys know how to do that. So, um, I'm trying to make sure you can see. Let me move this a little bit closer. Got a new tripod, so yay. No more camera falling into soaps or anything like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick blast just to get it emulsified and we will go from there. <laughs> I did some crazy crazy shopping I told you guys that I was gonna do like um, a soap supply um, so making supply um, don't want to say haul but I'm going to I think I'm going to do a haul for you guys um, of all the things that I got I finally got everything in so I think that it would be fun to do that so let me go mix this a little bit more but I got a soap cutter. I did get the single wire soap cutter just because I like the fact that I can cut my soap cakes with it. So that's why I decided to go that route instead of the multi cutter. And I'm very, very pleased with it. And this uh, one young man, I got it from Etsy shop. I know everybody likes um, the blood cutter. And I started to get that as well. But um, it's just, I found this cutter to be pretty cool because he um, actually engraved like the inch marks up to two inches uh, like a one one inch one and a half and on up to two inches into the the base of the soap cutter so that just makes life so much easier for me so I do like that and then uh, he had pretty much the same price as the blood single wire cutter but um, I do believe and I could be mistaken maybe I misread it but I believe that uh, Bud Hafner, um, he makes sure cutters to order and I, I don't really have patience. So this one young man already had them in stock. So therefore, I went on and ordered his and it came very, very fast. And I love the construction of it and everything. So I will be showing you guys that in uh, a haul video that I plan to do. Okay, so I'm going to be soaping with, uh, what the heck happened to my fragrance oil? <laughs> okay, I'm going to do um, Honeydew Melon from Southern Sensations. And it smells really, really good, but this is kind of like a Honeydew Melon with a twist. Just because um, I didn't feel like doing Honeydew Melon colors. I wanted to do something really cool. So I'm going to do this orange here, which is from, where is this from? The conservatory uh it's called peach sunset mica and i added a little bit of <laughs> i know last time i said to jen she's gonna kill me right here on the package new york soap making supply company i added just a dash of that red to give it more of a tangerine and not such a bright orange because it was this color orange and i wanted more of a tangerine my soaping inspiration came from a flower that i saw online so I know these are some strange uh, mix of colors. This is um, an ultramarine from TKB Trading Blue. I'm in love with this color. It's so amazing. And you only need very, very little and it goes a very long way. And then I have this purple here. Um, and this is from TKB Trading as well. Yield Neon Purple Concentrated. So hopefully this purple is the purple that I want. And then of course my fave, uh, my titanium dioxide. And I was going to put green in it. I know you guys probably see a little bit of green in this cup, but um, I decided I didn't want green. So I'm going to go ahead and split these off with, uh, ooh, what is that? Old dried soap. With majority of my color being the orange outside of my base, which is going to be white. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I think that's enough. And I got a new mold, and I think I mentioned in one of my other videos that I wasn't... As pleased as I thought I was going to be just because um, it says no line mold and that's not true because they have a YouTube uh, channel and tell you to go to it to see how to assemble it a I have to say assembly was hard as you know what you know so I wasn't too thrilled with that Hunter and I almost like cut our hands off trying to assemble the darn thing and I'm sure over time the more you use it the easier to become but uh, right it wasn't that easy to assemble and then when I went to because they didn't supply any instructions um, when I went to the their YouTube channel and watched the video she lined the mold <laughs> and they call it a slip but if you say it's a no line mold no line means no line no line you shouldn't have to use any freezer paper at all that's just what I think you know I could be wrong here but when you use freezer paper it's called lining to me so and then to 
Uh, it says it's a three pound mold, but when I got it, because I, I ordered two of them, it doesn't look like a three pound mold to me. Um, maybe two pounds. And I'm going to use it, use this soap because all of my, um, all of my soaps are three pounds. So if it doesn't fit, then we might be talking to that seller about uh, a refund or some credit or something because I ordered three pound molds. So I would like to have three pound molds. And my silicone mold is a three pound mold. So, um, I just don't understand how they consider that one a three pound, but we'll find out. And, uh, I like my soap to be very tall and I, you know, I give pretty big bars. I don't know what the heck that is. I give pretty big bars. Um, and I just feel like you're getting your money's worth when I do it like that. But, um, this mold is rather short, so you'll get like shorter bars. And I've done many bars, you know, I think to that size. But like I said, before I go bashing this company or anything, I'm going to see. And if it is shorter uh, and it is three pounds, then that's just my fault for not really reading the dimensions. But if it doesn't hold three pounds of soap, then somebody's going to be angry. <laughs> so especially since I bought two of them. Okay, so now that I have all my colors in. And guys, I got an email today and I'm just like... You can't be serious. Um, I'm going to say and give this person the benefit of doubt that they're not that dumb. And it, this is not the same person. But uh, you know when your gut tells you something. And yeah, I truly believe it is the same person. But I will keep you guys posted on this. So for those of you who watched my um, scam warning video. The one, uh, and I'm going to call her a character because that's what she is. The, <laughs> the one character that contacted me was trying to scam me. Um, I don't want to go into all the details of it. For those of you who haven't saw the video, uh, if you want, go um, into my playlist and head over there and watch that video and you'll see what I'm talking about. But um, I got an email today from my big cartel, just as I had before. And this person happens to have the same name as the person who tried to scam me, but a different last name. And um, um, I didn't even respond to them just because I'm just kind of like, really? So, <laughs> um, and also what kind of raised the red flag right off the bat for me was they said, hi, my name is you know, whatever. And uh, I live in the Netherlands, just like this person claimed to have lived in the last, in my scam warning video. And um, I'm wondering, do you ship to the Netherlands and when you, and will you accept credit card? Same deal. So I know it's the same person. Or if it's not the exact same person, it's the same scam. So I said, I don't know what I'm going to say to this person just yet. I know, wouldn't that just be terrible if this was a real customer? <laughs> That would be terrible. So I'm not going to be rude. I am going to ask her a couple of questions just to see if this is that same person. And if it is, then, um, yeah, I'm going to take further steps to have her um, prosecuted if I can because it's not cool. And I'm just like, are you serious? Okay, it didn't work the first time, so you're going to go for round, true, uh, round two? You're pretty ballsy. So, yeah, we'll, I will keep you guys posted on that. This seems to be getting, well... I'm not going to complain just yet. I did um, some master batching today. And before Hunter ran off to the sunset because she pretty much doesn't live here anymore. So she thinks. But um, she helped me. So I got six, seven batches worth of soap or oil sitting all ready for me. So that's always a plus when you're doing a lot of soaps different soaps okay so yeah that's pretty warm I soaked at a hundred and I normally try to keep it hundred or less but I don't know this one just seemed to be a little bit warmer what color I'm gonna do next my orange I do like this orange it's a very pretty orange <laughs> I don't know what these colors are going to end up looking like, but, um, it's all together, but I think it might turn out pretty cool. I'm trying to hurry up and bring the summer and, uh, spring and summer here already. And then I was on uh, a group in Facebook and I'm just like, you know what, what is this? The season of the scam artist? I don't get it because, um, back in, this had to be like October. They posted about um, a craft fair, a huge craft fair that's in a pretty prestigious place in, hold on one second guys, 
Ooh, pretty. Well, that's kind of plum. I don't really want plum. I want it purple. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever used this color before. But, um, yeah, eh, I don't know if I like that. Well, I'll worry about that in a second. But, yeah, I'm not really wanting a plum. That's supposed to be a dark purple. But I will try to fix that. But, anyway, um, these colors aren't as dark as I wanted them. So, I think I may have to add a little bit more mica in these. But, anyway, so, um, yeah, this person had been advertising this um, craft fair for quite a few months. And I contacted them, you know, a couple times. And she did get in contact with me. And the, the, um... The venue was, like I said, it's a pretty prestigious place in the area that I live in. So I was just like, wow, that's the greatest opportunity ever just because you know that there's going to be a lot of people with, you know, money there. So that would have been perfect. So she did get in contact with me said, it sounds like a great, you know, uh, product to have there. But uh, that's around the time that Facebook locked me out of my old page. So I wasn't able to get back in contact with her. And then I got an email. I mean a message from because I can still read messages from my old Facebook I just can't respond to them because I can't get into that page but um guys I'm gonna be right back let me what the hell look at that <laughs> that went from purple to plum to actual like a bubblegum pink that is hilarious all right guys so i'll be right back okay guys um i went on and added my fragrance off camera and i'm starting to see which is odd a little bit of uh acceleration and um yeah it's it's accelerating so like you know my my bases are pretty fluid uh normally my because i always use the same recipe but this is like i don't know I just stirred this off camera and it kind of made a suction noise when I pulled the spatula out. And as long as I'm stirring it, it seems to be all right. But I was going to do um, a drop swirl, but I don't think that's going to happen. It's getting too thick and it's not going to break through. So what I plan to do is just do, um, <clears throat> I'm going to do it in the pot swirl and just call it a day. And I'm telling you guys, I'm looking at this mold and part of me doesn't even want to use it because I really don't think that. Oh gosh, I don't know if I'm going to use a, do it in a pot or I won't even come out the cup. But, um, yeah, this mold looks like it's not even going to hold. And I just kind of wanted to try it anyway. And then it says, you know, it doesn't leak. And, um, wow, that's something. I don't know. I don't know if that's my recipe or what the hell, but... So I use the same recipe over and over again. As you guys can see, this is just kind of sitting right on top. It's not even breaking through. But, um, the only one still need, seems to be pretty fluid is, um, I don't know why I just did that. should have put each color up for it from up high. Try to get to break through. Yeah, and this is not going to turn out the way I wanted it, but oh well, whatever. Um, and this is one of the lighter fragrances. Um, it's not, I mean, you can still smell it most certainly, but it's not as pow as my um, cherry lemonade, because that stuff, oh, I'm just madly in love. See, <laughs> I said I wasn't going back up there anytime soon. My mom talked me into it. Not really. It didn't take her much convincing, but we are going to head back up there next weekend, and then I'm going to... Oh, yeah, look at that. Let's see if I can stir that out. But, um, yeah, that is weird business. Because, I mean, it's a, it's a fruit. So, it's not like it's a um, floral. That would cause some crazy acceleration. But, I kind of want to stick blend it. I think I should just stick blend it out because this one's kind of lumpy. But, um, yeah. Oh, so like I was saying about the uh, event in Rochester Hill. So somebody posted on it. And I just kind of figured this lady hadn't responded to me. And I just said, well, whatever. You know, even though I really would have liked to have been a part of it. But um, <laughs> I just saw on Facebook that someone said it was a scam. She took everybody's money. And the actual craft there has come and gone. And nobody's heard from her. She didn't give them the name of the venue. No nothing. So that really blows. You know, <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, if this is just, you know, 
the season of scam artists or what is going on but people ought to be ashamed of themselves they really should be seriously ashamed of themselves but apparently they're not because they're continuing to do it like i said this person that contacted me i am a thousand percent sure this is the same person who thinks i'm really stupid and now if this is her she's pissing me off <laughs> guys she's really pissing me off you're gonna try me again huh so <laughs> i say okie dokie all right, now I don't know how in the hell I plan to do this one, but because this crap won't even really come out of the container. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to spoon this in, and hopefully I can get most of it to go to the bottom. But yeah, I'm really concerned about this mold, and especially since this stuff has accelerated. Um. I'm really not wanting to do a trial and error, you know, get it in this um, mold and then it doesn't fit. So that would really peeve me off a lot. Okay, so I'm just going to do this because this is not going the way I wanted it to. That is really odd that this accelerated. But I kind of, a part of me wants to say that it's not this fragrance oil because even before I put any fragrance oil in here, uh, my batter was getting kind of thick and like I said which is really strange because it's the same recipe I always use so I don't know on the next soap that I make and I will be sure to soap at a cooler temperature um, for sure just to avoid that but um, this is going to be very interesting especially now since I'm not going with the plan that I had And then, oh yeah, they said that these molds are leak-proof. That's not true either. <laughs> and I know soap is thicker than water. You know, oils are thicker than water. So I wanted to, you know, I tried to put two pounds, at least three, try to get two or three pounds of water in it just to see, you know, how much it would hold, but it started leaking everywhere. So I wasn't able to do that either. I'm going to show you these, uh, you guys, this mold and see, uh, let you see it. See what I'm talking about? Because it just looks extremely shallow. All right, so let's get this orange. The rest is orange. This looks crazy. This is some kind of in the pot, huh? <laughs> I am going to bang this just so I can get some of the colors go down, you know, in the bottom because I would like to have it throughout. Yeah, and that yield, ne uh, <laughs> yield purple uh, neon. Yeah, that's a yield liar. <laughs> Because that cell is not purple. I end up using some uh, mica from the conservatory to just kind of turn it back purple. But um, yeah, these colors are really bold, and I don't do colors like this normally, but I thought I'd try it. And I'm kind of glad that I used this fragrance because I, I do love it. Don't get me wrong, I do like it, but it's not my favorite favorite. But it just seemed like it would go with it, so that's why I chose. Um, that fragrance oil but just in case this one bombs on me I won't be you know upset or anything but I can always rebatch it but these are some strange bit of colors going on so I don't know what that would look like in a rebatch all right so let me see if I can bang this down some lost it it's so hard to pick up <laughs> all right so okay now let's go ahead and give this a oh 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 lordy b this is gonna be like soap on a stick <laughs> look at that that is some crap i don't know what that's gonna look like guys but i have to say i do like the color mix and it's like ah oh, geez i don't even know what the heck to do here just because it's so thick and it's not thick all over so I don't know exactly which one is the culprit here but I'm going to try to dig around and loosen it up a little bit and I think I got like a clump right there yeah I do so well yeah <laughs> and then all it goes um I want to take that out but I'm going to leave it I'm going to leave it so let me kind of 
push that down in there. I do like the way that looks, though. And let me leave it alone because I'm starting to muddy this up really well. But, um, this is interesting, guys. This is very, very interesting. <laughs> uh, and I will, I almost forgot to do my shout out for this week. But as soon as I get this nonsense all sorted, then I will do my shout out at the end of this video. I'm not going to forget. So, this is my mold. And I should really listen to my first mind and say don't use it, but I'm going to. So <laughs> just because I have a head like a brick. And I really oh I really <laughs> need to know if this is um three pounds or not. That's why I'm using it. So I can go ahead and contact them and let them know that they weren't actually truthful. I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in there because try to give that a, another swirl maybe loosen it up a little bit that's gross <laughs> this is some kind of business I'm telling you guys this is something well you know me <laughs> uh, I'm almost afraid to bang this too much because I have this little glass piece on my table and I would really hate to break it so uh, I'm going to try to get as much as I can in here. And yes, they did lie. This is most certainly not three pounds. This is like really, really full. I guess I could take these clips off now. And now my piece of paper is folding over. <laughs> and nobody can see my soaps. <laughs> Guys, this is something else, isn't it? So I'm going to try to fit as much as I can on here. I really am. Um, I may need to tape these sides down. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. I was not in the mood for this day, that's for sure. So if I can get some of this oil off my hands, I can go ahead and tape this down. Yeah, but three pounds my arse. This is not three pounds at all. But it's good to know. It is good to know that it is not three pounds. I mean, the mold is a great concept, but um, it's just, you know, tell the truth. That's all I'm saying. So, I don't think, I don't think all this is going to fit in here. I mean, this is going to be really, really tall. And I am going to give it a smack down a little bit, you know, a little bit more. Just because I'm very interested, interested to see what this is going to turn out like. I really am. And I know I am like pushing the boundaries here, trying to shove all this soap on top, but I want to make it three pounds. <laughs> so, um, give me a sec. I'm going to pound this down and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So, yeah, um, I wasn't able to get it all in the mold. Of course, I didn't expect me to. So, uh, what I am going to do is um, clean the sides up just a weensy bit. Try to get it on top and then just kind of do a high top. <clears throat> I think that's my best bet there. But, uh, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed that these are not three pound molds. And, I mean, can I use them? Of course I can use them, but I normally don't do soaps, you know, this height. I, I, I do taller soaps. So, that is a little dismaying. But, oddly enough, I did have a couple of guys ask me, do I do smaller soaps? So, maybe I will just use these for um men's soaps but i will still be contacting that seller on etsy and letting them know that these do not hold um three pounds and they need to correct that because that's not cool um and then this stuff is like super duper thick this is going to be one strange strange looking soap but i am very curious to see what it's going to look like <laughs> I'm trying to like get it up here Ugh. I don't know if it's I don't I hell I don't know I don't know what's going on here honestly I don't <laughs> um it's just weird it's such a weird texture it's a weird color it's just weird ass soap <laughs> excuse me I didn't mean to curse <laughs> but it is weird <laughs> So sorry about that because you know I know I have little kitties and things watching so excuse my potty mouth I'm very sorry but um yeah this is our color just because I know um it's like overly yeah 
I don't even know what to do with that. It's overly mixed, so... Ah, I guess I'll leave it like that, and then I'll toss some glitter on top or something. But yeah, that's some weird business. Yes, yes it is. And then, now, the the real reveal is how easy is this mold to um, disassemble. <laughs> it's supposed to be really, really easy, so they say. But at this point, I really don't trust anything they say. So. <laughs> and I do believe over time, um, once you start putting it back and forth together, the grooves will kind of loosen a little bit. But I'm telling you, Hunter and I had a devil of a time putting this together. And everybody else seemed to have, you know, an easy time, so they say, in the review section. And, um, I don't know. I just, not everyone, because there were some, some people saying that, they they had a difficult time putting it together as well but i need to leave this alone because i'm just making this even stranger all right uh what glitter am i gonna put on here i almost don't want to put any just because it's so weird looking but didn't i get some blue glitter let me see i think because i got some new glitters and i did not get hmm I thought I got a navy, but apparently I didn't. So, what I will do is put some kaleidoscope. I'm going to put this in my um, haul video. And, um, isn't that pretty? But I'll show you this one now just because it's so darn pretty. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So, I will put some of this on there. Uh, I need I need something. Well, first I need to turn on this fan before it goes blowing everywhere. Okay. Maybe I'll use the end of this knife to put it on. Let's see what I get. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of jazz it up a bit. I'm just really, really wanting to see what the inside is going to look like. That's going to be the real reveal. But it seems, I don't know, I kind of think for some reason, I just think it's going to be cool. If it's not too muddied, I think it's going to be kind of cool looking. So, I'm not mad at it. Nope, not at all. I just want to know what it's going to show me when it's done doing its thing so yes just a little bit more glitter just because we need to make this top really gorgeous which i don't know how gorgeous it's going to be because it's one weird looking creature over soap <laughs> but i think that's all the glitter i am going to shove on here yes all right so that's it guys um this is my what's the name of this again um <laughs> honeydew melon and we will just have to wait and see what this baby's gonna try looking like so here we go up close i'm not going to cover it because i think that it will probably burst into flames <laughs> i guess it's already like really warm all right guys so that's it for now until next time this is kitty the messy sofa and until my next video i'll see you later